So our next speaker is Connor Kinnean, or as many know him, Irishman Speaks. Connor is an award-winning speaker and humorist. He is a Chicago Humorous Speaker of the Year and is happily exiled in the Chicago area where he says the Guinness is good, the natives are friendly, and he's been force-fed more corned beef and green beer than he ever had in Ireland. Please welcome our fascinating Irishman, Connor Kinnean. Well, 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 isn't it amazing what you find when you're out walking the land? A camera right here in front of me. It's unbelievable. Does it work? It does. Let's see. Crikey, it does. Greetings, fascinators. My goal today is to leave you with a smile on the face, with a spring in the step, and five simple, memorable micro goals that you can implement that will help you to feel better during these very challenging times and also help other people to feel better during these very challenging times. When I ask my audiences, how do they feel after they achieve a goal? I get words like positive, upbeat, happy, delighted, excited. Now the reason why people are positive, upbeat, happy, delighted, excited after achieving a goal is because we have neurotransmitters in our brains. Uh, one of them is known as uh, dopamine, which is known as the feel good chemical. And when we achieve a goal or do something positive, the dopamine kicks in, makes us feel better. And as a result of that, we feel more motivated as well. Now, my next immediate goal is to get interaction from all of you good people watching this fascinating program here. So what I am interested in, if you agree with that and are interested in this, what I would like you to do is hit the space bar and give me a hoot, hoot, hoot. So the question is, are you interested in finding out five simple little takeaways that will give you an extra hit of dopamine every single day? So hit the space bar and give me hoot, 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 if you like that. Hoot, 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 When my wife asks me how the presentation went, I can say it was a hoot. Oh my God almighty. Here all week, folks. Okay, all right. Let's go to the serious points now about the micro goals. When you are achieving a goal, uh, you feel better or more positive. We'll give you the five micro goals now. And by the way, these five micro goals, Lynn said we can only remember three things and I'm thinking, oh crikey, I'm gonna be given two bonus points. Okay, Lynn, thank you for that. So the five micro goals though actually spell the acronym CHATS upside down. Ah, this printer, I swear, never works properly. Okay, remember the acronym CHATS. The first element of micro goals I want to speak to you is about is compliment. And you probably will agree with me that when someone compliments you, you feel better about yourself and have a better appreciation of that person that has complimented you. Conversely, when you compliment someone, you can be reasonably sure that that person feels better about themselves, more motivated, and has a better appreciation of you as well. So here's the first micro goal that you can implement tomorrow. And the micro goal is tomorrow, I will compliment one person. Now what happens? When I compliment that one person tomorrow, because I have set it as a micro goal, when I hear myself complimenting that one person, the dope, I realize I've achieved my goal. The dopamine kicks in. I feel better about myself and more happy. But what about the person that I've complimented? They're likely to feel more motivated and happy. The dopamine is kicking in for them as well. It is a win-win situation. First element of CHAPS, compliment. Second element of CHAPS micro goal that would put to you is H. And H is for, my goal is to hear the words, thank you. Now, what do I mean by that? Almost certainly in the last 24 years, 24 hours, or even 24 years even, uh, people have said to you, thank you. But it's kind of gone over your head. If you set yourself a micro goal, that tomorrow I will deliberately hear the words, thank you. What do you have to do to achieve that micro goal? You've got to do something positive to help someone else. 
And what's going to happen, gang? When you actually then do that something positive, you hear the words, thank you. The dopamine kicks in because you've achieved your micro goal. I'm feeling better about myself. But what about the person you've actually done something for? How do you think they're feeling? Positive and upbeat and appreciating you more as well. Chaps, this is not just gobbledygook. Uh, Harvard researchers, uh, Stephen Kramer and Teresa Amibile have done research on this and they've found that small wins or small micro goals, achievement of them, can have a dramatic effect, effect on people and on teamwork in general. So compliment, hear the words, thank you, two micro goals you can do tomorrow. The next micro goal I want to put to you is A, and A is for a dress. Now, I want to be clear here, this does not refer to the video of me that appeared on Facebook over the weekend where I was wearing that little pink chiffon outfit with the sparkles on it and the over the shoulder piece. No, uh, by address here, I mean address people with their name when you're talking to them. So I see that they, if you're paying attention here now, but Michelle, I, I see you smiling and just that reference to you has got you even more involved. The same with uh, Alicia. Uh, I see you kind of smiling as well as a result. Why? Because I just mentioned your name. Each of you can do a simple little thing tomorrow that will help you in negotiations. When you want to connect seriously with someone in negotiations or an interview, address them with their name a few times in that conversation. It will make a big difference. P in the chat's acronym is positive. And the idea here is that you can bring positive thoughts and vibes to an organization or conversation by uh, having a micro goal that tomorrow I will use at least one positive word or one positive phrase. Tomorrow, if you start getting used to using positive words like amazing, brilliant, cheerful, delightful, energetic, friendly, Guinness. Hey, Guinness is a positive word for Irish people, gang. What's going to happen after a short period of time, if you use these words and phrases consistently, people will start saying things about you and the environment that you are creating. Like that person is amazing, brilliant, cheerful, delightful, energetic, friendly. Let's go for a Guinness or whatever your favorite beverage is. This is not gobbledygook gang. The English author, Anthony Trollope said, a small daily task, if truly done daily, will beat the labors of a spasmodic Hercules. A small daily task, if truly done daily, will beat the labors of a spasmodic Hercules. The final micro goal in the CHAPS acronym I want to give you is S is for smile. The goal is for you to put a smile on someone's face. And what happens when you put a smile on someone's face tomorrow? They, you're gonna realize, hey, I've achieved my goal. The dopamine kicks in, I feel better about myself. The person that you put a smile on their face obviously feels better about themselves as well. And what actually happens is that because you put a smile on their face, what are you gonna do? You're gonna smile back. Chats works. In today's environment, it is really difficult for you to improve your net worth or for you to improve the net worth of your colleagues and comrades. You can, however, improve your self-worth by implementing these chaps uh, micro goals. You can improve the self-worth of the people that you are working with by implementing these chaps micro goals. Each of us has the opportunity to change the world ever so slightly within our own little universe. Chaps is the answer for you as we go forward. <laughs> Hoot, 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 hoot